What's up guys and welcome back to The Tenants. Your favorite landlord real estate developer is back and um, today we've got a, a pretty exciting property ahead of us here. This is one of our smallest properties we've ever seen but uh, it definitely packs a punch. This is called uh, Candy Road. Check this out guys, we've got a, a tree house out here in the middle of the forest and uh, even though it's small it's it's definitely gonna pack a punch it's definitely gonna have a, a very unique look and feel to it so I'm excited to check this thing out see what we can do small square footage but uh, you know big in people's hearts so hopefully we can make this make this pretty cool looks like we're restoring what is this like a, a computer board what is that I'm not sure what I'm, I'm gonna salvage it it's a new it's a new item okay we're gonna we're gonna throw that in our inventory so I guess since that's it's been salvaged I think we can purchase it now I guess it's in here it's a board game uh, it, it's a children's board game looks like maybe sorry or something like that I'm not I'm not sure I don't recognize it, it might be kind of crazy so it looks like we've got a nice little balcony out here I mean the problem is it is e exceptionally small here like there's not gonna be much to be able to work with but if you're thinking about some sort of a you know cabin up in the woods hunting cabin something like that then I guess it, it makes sense so let's go ahead and begin this renovation and see what we're working with so we're definitely gonna want some sort of hardwood I'm thinking something like that. We could also go with something like this, something like this. Ooh, this is, that's kind of woodsy. I like the, the dark there. We've got that. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm thinking, I actually, I, I really like the, uh, which one was it? This one. I like this one here. So we're going to, we're going to do the floor with that. Kind of matches the roof a little bit, I guess. And then as for walls, we have leaves wallpaper or the forest mural and i'm thinking definitely some of this forest but maybe not the entire thing we've also got some Ooh, see that's very hunting cabin-esque so we've got a little treasure map on the wall we could also go with something like this we could go with just some plain greens we've got a lot of greens in this this game so we can work with some different different vibes i kind of like this i'm thinking we have a woods accent wall and then we have this throughout the rest of the home. That looks that looks pretty good. So we think here you're gonna walk up the stairs, which by the way I do I do like the little heart shaped doors. That's that's a nice little little touch heart shaped look throughs. But um, yeah, you're gonna walk up the stairs. You're gonna be here. I'm thinking. Uh, I mean this this is gonna be our bathroom right there. There's no doubt about that. So let's let's just go ahead and put in some some walls, some doors, and then as for actual the the actual door itself. Oh, or o ogre's toilet door. Okay got the little heart in it as well now granted in a situation like this if it's this small i would honestly probably have an outhouse outside for for you know you to be able to do your business but um we're we're you know technically still in the suburbs here so we've got to have some class to our uh, our our cabin here so we're we're gonna have you know the the green walls on the outside i'm gonna keep the outhouse vibes just you know go out there dig yourself a hole and squat over it so we, we've got we've got the the tree wallpaper there and then of course we're gonna have a a toilet now the thing is I mean I'm, I'm thinking probably the, the worst toilet that we could possibly find the thing is we are not gonna have a, a shower it, you, if you're out in the woods you're not you're not taking showers out in the woods man you can you know get a you know, use the sink, use a, a wet nap or something like that. You're just going to have to have to make whatever works. So we're going to have that. We're definitely going to want a lot of extra toilet paper, all that, that venison and stuff that we're going to be eating. So I'm going to throw a lot of extra toilet paper down, just the basic toilet paper roll there. And then I'm thinking, I mean, do we, we're going to kind of need a sink for sure. This thing is not going to rent very well because we're, we're doing bare bones minimum in terms of the, uh, the, the you know accessories and stuff but it's gonna be fine I'm looking for a mirror we're gonna put a mirror on the wall above the sink shoot can we move the sink down we can't move the sink down okay um, I guess we could put a mirror on the wall over here bam all right bathroom done I'm gonna move this guy over here by the door to give us easy access we're gonna be able to stack those let's actually center these with the door in the window just to make it look a little bit better but uh, that's nice that you can stack those and access them both so they take up a little bit less space I'm thinking this is gonna be our little kitchen and again I mean you're not gonna have much here I mean the oldie cooker that's what you would find in here it's funny that it's the most expensive thing let's move this out from the wall so it doesn't cut through that that space there so we've got the oldie cooker and then I'm thinking I, I know there's kind of a, a small little fridge we've got a little fridge here can we fit both of these back in this back in this area here I'm hoping we're gonna be able to fit 
each of these. Yeah, so we've got like a, a little fridge freezer set up here. Going to be able to store all the meat and stuff that you get. And that's that's it. You've got a, a four burner stove and a little fridge. That's really all you need. Maybe a, a coffee pot up on the fridge because waking up early, planning out your hunts, that sort of thing. So next up, we're going to need a bed here. And so we've got a few different options we could go with. We've got a, a second hand mattress. That looks pretty hunting cabin-esque. We could go with something like this. The green I, I like. That's pretty hunting cabin-esque as well. Or even an air mattress now. Again, we're in the burb, so we want to keep it kind of classy. I'm also thinking a bunk bed wouldn't be a bad idea. Because what if you have guests with you? You know what I mean? Like, that's that's pretty that's pretty common to have. So you can, you know, invite somebody out in a hunt with you and stuff like that. So we're, we're going to put a bunk bed in there. I'm, I'm half tempted to do something like this, though, just because it looks a little bit better with the greens and everything. Like, I, I, I really, I really, I really like that right there. Or even, even if we went with this centered with the window. So, functionality-wise, we're losing, you know, a place for people to be able to sleep. But it just looks a little bit better in terms of the vibes. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any sort of a fireplace option. I was really hoping we were going to have a fireplace we could put here. But uh, it wants us to have a seat. So, I'm thinking, yes, this chair right here. We're going to have two of these guys. We're going to put that there. We're going to put this here. We're definitely going to want some sort of a nice rug. And I think I have the, the precise one that we want. Is that a little bit too big? That might be a little bit too big. This this looks a little bit, you know, warmer and cozier. So we've got that going on. Let me, let me get this centered with these guys. Bam, something like that. So we've got that. I'm going to look for, for some sort of a lamp. Where are our lamps at? I want like a floor standing lamp. The golden lamp. Something like, yeah, there we go. Skull, I'd, I'd prefer a little bit more of a brown or something. I guess we could put this black one in here, but that's a little bit too modern industrial. So we've we've got that there. I mean, we could have some sort of a little, little side table or something. Do we have side tables or end tables? Ooh, definitely gonna have some sort of a grandfather clock somewhere. This thing would make a lot of sense. I guess we could probably put this put this over over here. But um, yeah, we're we're looking for some sort of a small wooden table. Just kind of like a little side table type deal. What is, oh, that's a big table. That's not what we're looking for. Maybe, maybe in the, the office furniture. Yeah, something like this. Just a little, little cabinet. Something small though to be able to keep our books on. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this. I don't want to get too crazy with it, but that, that looks pretty good. So we're going to throw some, uh, some books on here. Can't even fit them. That's unfortunate. Space is definitely at a, a premium here, man. It's it's tough. We, we really need to take advantage of, of every little option that we can. Ooh, this is kind of nice. This this looks like something we'd have in a, a little hunting thing. So I'm going to put this over here. That looks... Center it. But yeah, that looks pretty good. I guess for now, we're just going to have to put the books on the floor. I mean, it's it's unfortunate, but uh, we don't really have, have any other options. So we're going to put that down there, dude. We have so much green going on here. I love it. Dude, if it were Christmas time, we could throw down a Christmas tree in this spot too. So we're going to... You know, keep this up in the attic for now, but that's that's kind of a good spot for that. Our little little reading nook. Let me see what else we've got going on. Um, definitely, I mean, you guys you guys know what we're gonna be going for here. We definitely need this thing. I'm gonna mount this on the wall, probably up above the bed, so that's gonna look pretty good. And then we're also gonna want our AR somewhere. I guess we could. I mean, just having it sit out like that doesn't doesn't seem seem right. I'm thinking maybe should we put it above that or like over here? So you can kind of grab it on your way out the door would make sense. I really like that treasure map there though. So I guess let's let's just throw a couple of these on the wall right here for now. I feel like it just makes it look a little bit more cluttered, but obviously you're going to want something like that in a situation like this. Now, up on top of this, I'm thinking some sort of a plant and then we want some other little hunting trinkets. You might get a little bit bored so you can have a Rubik's cube. Um, I mean, a lot of these are pretty modern, these little trinkets that we have. I'm looking, I mean, maybe like a hunting trophy. We can't put that there, unfortunately. I guess like a little, a little clock on the bottom could just be like a, a trinket passed down from, from Grandpa Pa, and then maybe some boxes. Now nah, the boxes don't really fit. They're a little bit too modern. Maybe some candles, I guess. All right. We don't need to fill up every spot on the shelves, but... I do kind of like it when we when we do that. Now, is there anything else we're missing here? I mean, again, I, I don't want to make it too crowded. Let me center this with the wall. That that piece is really cool. I like that. Let me let me see if there's anything else 
There's a stripes painting that's a little bit too modern. Ah, we've got little jars. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna put a little jar down here. Maybe we've got some honey, or I, I don't, I don't know what else we would use. But yeah, the, the jar makes a little bit more sense. So we've got that. I mean. I think for the interior, we aren't going to get much better than that. I'm actually, I, I think theming wise, I'm really pl proud of this one. I think this might be one of our best ones. Now, we do have the exterior here that we're going to be able to do. So I'm, I'm thinking we probably stay with the, the same the same material here. Obviously, it's going to be, you know, wood pretty much all throughout. So we've, we've got that. Let me see what we want to do out here. So if we check out our outdoor furniture, I mean, we've got a, a little workbench would make sense oh can we not place anything out here i don't think it's gonna let us place oh we could place that but we can't place a workbench interesting okay and we can't place anything on the walls out here so pretty much i mean can we put ch we could put chairs out here i guess i guess that makes sense do we have any other green chairs see like i like something like this for an outdoor kind of a a, a dyer dack look is that how you, you say it something like this but um it's, it's not green. That's okay. So we've got that. We need some sort of a little table. I would really enjoy something light and brown. Something like this. All right. So this is going to be a good spot for like, you know, having a, a cup of joe out here. So we could probably have another one of our thermoses out here. Just kind of have it like that. Can we, can we put cups down? We can't put cups down. I was hoping to be able to put some like coffee cups or something. Try to think what else you would have here. I mean, you know, sit out here morning you got the the you know frost on your breath having your cup of joe looking out over the forests i think there's you know people walking by and stuff but we could pretend like we're out here in the middle of the the you know yukon looking out for some moose or some bear or something kind of a, a cool little setup wish we could put stuff on the walls i feel like a, a dream catcher right there would be kind of cool i feel like a dream catcher in general in here would be pretty nice i just don't know that we have the space for it we could put it behind this lamp. Oh no, the lamp isn't centered. Okay, we gotta we gotta fix this. I'm worried we're gonna get to the point that we're just adding too much stuff in here just for fun. Uh, let me let me see if there's anything else. I mean, we could put kind of like you know little little planters out here. Might be kind of nice. So I'm gonna put a couple of these side by side. So maybe get them get them centered so they try to take up most of the the space there. That actually looks pretty nice. I mean, we could put them along this way as well and uh, just kind of create a little bit more of a, a tropical vibe out here. We could even do some some big style plants. I know we have some some really big planters somewhere. We could do stuff like this. Might be kind of nice to have out here in our, our deck. Yeah, that's pretty nice. We've got, you know, the, the smaller planters, couple of big options. All right. I mean, I, I don't think we really have a ton of other space we're going to be able to utilize there. And uh, again, I... I think this is our best build yet. I don't think it's even close. I, I think theming wise, we really kind of took our time and a lot of this, a lot of this made sense. We could potentially put like, I mean, I, I wish, I, I don't think it lets you do this. This would be funny. I'd love to put candles like up on the, the sill of the window here, just because I'm sure it's, it's really stinky in that bad boy, but, uh, it's not going to let us. And again, we don't want to over trinket this thing. Yeah. I, I think it, it looks good as is. We've got enough open floor space to feel comfortable, but at the same time, we have all of the necessities that we need. I'm proud of this. I'm happy. Looks like we hit all of our, our objectives and stuff. I'm happy with how this turned out. So let's, uh, ooh, we've got somebody freezing. I'll send a pro in, no big deal. Now keep in mind, this is, it's probably not gonna rent for much, if you want me to be honest. I, I, I would assume that because we used so many cheap options, because it's, it's you know, such a unique setup here. I, I just, I, I don't, I don't see people really vibing with it. And, and a lot of the stuff that we have, like, let's see what this lady thinks of all the, the toilet paper rolls. Yeah, she's going to be mad about it. Well, lady, you shouldn't be buying a, a hunting cabin then. For real. My goodness. It, it, it drives me crazy. Don't be an idiot. Ooh, she loves it. Lisa Garner. Let me see what's going on with you, girl. Let's see that, uh, see that, that tenant history and background check. Looks like she's got a bad history. Looks like she's got no criminal record, decent amount of debt. I mean, if she loves this plant, I'm going to go with it. She loves it. Dude, I, I'd rather see somebody who actually loves it in here. So we're going to gonna bring her in at, at 5630, make an offer for three-month lease. She comes in at 4K. I'm going to say 5K. She's going to come in around 4,300, 4,400. I'll take it. All right. 
beautiful. Looks like I haven't been paying my bills because we've been managing this, this new build here, but uh, we're gonna be fine, dude. Holy cow. Brand new treehouse. This thing is sick. Get off your phone, girl! No! You, you, you cannot be on your phone in the treehouse. The treehouse is a phone-free zone. You're supposed you, you don't have service out here. We're in the middle of the suburbs. But seriously, you've got people walking by in the background. Come on. She is just living her life, baby. Look, dude, honestly, this scene is she setting up a selfie stick? What is happening? You are in a hunting lodge. She, ah, uh, it's all right, dude. Uh, Chelsea and I have vlogged up in Alaska and stuff, I guess. It looks like she's doing some sort of a phone review or something. I'm not, I'm not really sure what's going on, but, um, yeah, man, this, this was cool. A little bit small, a little bit shorter of an episode. I hope you guys, uh, understand. I'm gonna keep looking for, uh, for more cool properties. We're gonna keep grinding. She's smelling the roses, taking selfies. Oh, this is, this is everything that's wrong with humanity. Just enjoy the breeze. Listen to the birds. Be one with nature. Get off your phones. Get off your phone. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Mwah.